hello friends so today we'll start and uh, finish up with the probably last or second last point uh, in the uh, syllabus of uh, dc motor that is starter and uh, last topic uh, is the permanent magnet dc motor we will try to uh, finish off uh, unit number 4 if possible otherwise we'll see the permanent dc uh, permanent magnet dc motor next time but uh, today we'll start and finish off with the starters so starters for dc motor so usually dc motors are self start so we uh, does not require the starter to uh, in order to start the dc motor but it enables us to start the motor in a desired way or in a safe way so this is the main necessity of the starter so the starting instant uh, the speed of the motor is zero so that means n is equal to zero now as the speed is zero there cannot be any back emf because eb is directly proportional to speed m so e, as eb is directly proportional to m and as n is zero at start so eb will be zero at start so now the volt from the voltage equation v is equal to eb plus i a into ra so now in this equation eb is zero so v is equal to i a into ra so that means i a is equal to v upon ra now the as eb is zero the value of i a it is equal to v upon ra now at start generally we are starting the motor by applying the uh, entire voltage v normal voltage v across the um, armature okay so um, uh, ia will be equal to v which is the rated value so rated v and divided by ra now the armature resistance usually it is of uh, very uh, small order uh, and in numericals we have seen that the value of ra it is usually uh, almost it is less than 1 ohm or um, at the most it is equal to 1 ohm so the as the ra value is very small or almost equal to 1 ia will be very large so at start the motor will have a tendency to draw a large amount of armature current and usually it is 10 to 15 times more than the full load current value okay so now if this value of current at start if it is very high then what will happen then the it may happen that in a constant voltage system such high inverse of current may cause tremendous line voltage fluctuations and this may affect the performance of the other equipments connected to the same line that is first uh, drawback of uh, drawing large current at start and such excessive high armature current blows out the fuses so that may be another reason and if the motor fails to start due to some problems with the field winding then a large armature current flowing for a larger time may burn the insulation of the armature winding so this is the third uh, reason why we won't want uh, that uh, higher uh, starting current okay and another reason is as the starting armature current is 10 to 15 times more than the full load current the torque develop which is proportional to the phi will also be 10 to 15 times so assuming that the shunt current uh, shunt motor operation it is so due to such high torque the shaft and other accessories will be subject to a large mechanical stresses and these stresses 
may cause permanent mechanical damage to the motor so these are the four reasons why we won't want the high inrush of current at start now what is the reason of high inrush of current at start that we have seen i think you have understood or i revise it once what is the necessity of starter the starter is not required to start the dc motor because dc motors are self start but this starter will enable to start the motor in a desired or safe way now we know that as the uh, at the starting instant speed of the motor is zero n is zero and we know that the uh, back emf equation eb is proportional to n as n is zero eb will be zero at start so from voltage equation v is equal to eb plus ira now as eb is zero at start this v will be equal to ia into ra so this ia value will be equal to v upon ra now initially at start we are applying the rated voltage so if we are applying the rated voltage v and the value of ra armature resistance we know that it is of the order of uh, less than 1 ohm or at the most it is 1 ohm so heavy inrush of current will be there at the start and it is usually 10 to 15 times more than the full load current now if this heavy inrush of current is there at start there are four major drawbacks of that the first one is due to this high inrush of current it may cause tremendous line voltage fluctuations and these fluctuations may affect the performance of the other equipments connected to the same line then second effect is such exclusively or excessively high armature current may blow the fuses so fuses will be blown out so that is the another reason then third reason is if the motor fails to start due to some problem with the field winding then a large armature current flowing for a longer time may burn the insulation of the armature winding and fourth one is as the starting armature current is 10 to 15 times more than that of the full load current value the torque developed which is proportional to ia will also be 10 to 15 times high assuming that it is a shunt motor operation so due to such high starting torque the shaft and the other accessories are or will be subjected to large mechanical stresses and these stresses may cause permanent mechanical damage to the motor so because of these four reasons we want to now we won't want this high inrush of current at start but we want to restrict this high starting armature current in a uh, so that's why we are using a variable uh, starting resistance connected in series with the armature for at starting purpose so this resistance is called the starter or a starting resistance so starter is basically a current limiting device which is nothing but the resistance okay so in the beginning the entire resistance is in the series so at start uh, this position will be or this armature winding a1 will be connected at this particular point so that the entire resistance will be there in the picture and then gradually we are reducing the value of this resistance as the motor gathers the entire speed or you can say 70 to 80 75% 80, of the speed producing the back emf then this resistance is cut off okay this is the basic arrangement uh, shown now in addition to the starting resistance there are some protective devices provided in a starter 
so if you might have seen my video uh, then in that i um, uh, explained what are the different uh, protective devices uh, used they are the field uh, failure protection or it may be a soft start uh, or it may be overload uh, um, um, protection so all these uh, uh, additional protective uh, devices are provided along with the starter okay so i hope you have understood what is the necessity of starter now there are two types of starters which are used for uh, dc motors that is a three point starter and a four point starter so in examination the question may be asked that what is the necessity of starter and draw and explain either a three point starter or four point starter okay so you have to draw this diagram if it is three point starter is asked you have to draw this diagram so as its name indicates three point starter so there are three main points on of this starter provided the, on the front panel they are l f and e so l is the line terminal to be connected to positive of the supply and a to be connected to the armature winding and f to be connected to the field winding so the connection will be such that this positive of this supply will be connected to l then this negative will be connected to this field winding and armature winding then field winding another terminal is connected to f and armature winding another terminal is connected to a and this is the internal diagram of that starter three point starter so it is having the major components as this olr that is overload release coil so this is one and this no volt coil this is another so these are the two main parts of this olr and nvc so overload release and no volt coil then there is a starter handle this starter handle through a spring arrangement it is connected here and um, to uh, there is a uh, resistances um, r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 and these are the studs 1 2 3 4 5 uh, off and run so these are the studs so this is uh, this is a soft iron piece so uh, whenever current will flow in this particular uh, coil it will magnetize this and it will attract this soft iron piece whenever this uh, magnetization um, whenever contact disconnects or current through this winding disconnects then it disconnects the magnetization and uh, this handle will be released so that is the purpose of this nvc and uh, this overload uh, release will uh, release this uh, overloading uh, or if excess current uh, flows in this uh, winding then uh, it will release this particular handle so um, i'll explain one by one now uh, so we'll first uh, see the um, construction so this is the constructional diagram of this uh, starter now the starter is basically a variable resistance divided into number of sections the contact points of these uh, sections are called as studs so these are the uh, studs and brought out separately shown as off 1 2 3 4 5 and run okay so there are again further three main points of this starter indicated as l which is the line terminal to be connected to positive of the supply a to be connected to the armature winding and f to be connected to the field winding now point l it is further connected to an electromagnet so this is an electromagnet called overload release that is ol r so overload release is this the second end of this olr 
it is connected to a point where the handle of the starter is pivoted so it is connected over here now this handle is free to move from its other side against the force of the spring so it will move against the force of the spring which is in this direction and we are rotating this handle in this direction okay so um this spring can bring back the handle to the off position under influence of its own force so whenever this uh, handle is released then due to this spring action it will come back to its off position or otherwise we are trying to move it to this in this particular direction then there is a another parallel path which is this and uh, which is derived from the stud one so from stud one this another parallel path is derived which is given to the another electromagnet so this is another electromagnet which is called as no volt coil nvc the nvc is further connected to the terminal f so this nvc it is connected to f the starting resistance is entirely the starting resistance is entirely in series with this armature okay and the olr and nvc are the two protecting devices of this starter so this is the construction now let us see the operation now initially this handle is in the off position the dc supply to the motor is switched on then this handle is moved slowly against the spring action to make the contact with stud number 1 now at this point field winding gets supply through the parallel path this field winding will get the supply through this parallel path provided um against this starting resistance through nvc okay while the entire starting resistance will be in series with the armature and armature current which is high at start will be getting limited okay now as the handle is moved from stud 1 position to stud 2 position then from 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 etc it cuts out the starting resistance gradually from the armature circuit so initially whenever it will move from 1 to 2 this r1 will be removed from armature circuit then when it will move from 2 to 3 r2 will again be removed so r1 r2 has removed when it is at point 3 when uh, that uh, start uh, soft uh, this uh, starter handle will be at position 4 then only r4 and r5 will be in series with this armature when it is at 5 only r5 resistance will be in series and whenever this handle will be under run position this entire resistance will be bypassed and the entire supply voltage will be directly connected to this armature so under normal running condition this entire resistance will be bypassed so finally when the starter handle is at run position the entire starting resistance gets removed from the armature circuit and motor starts operating with the normal speed okay so this is the operation i hope you have understood now we'll see what is the function of this no volt coil and the action of overload release so these two no volt coil and this olr overload release we'll see the operation or the special functions of these two uh, electromagnets okay now the supply to the field winding 
is derived through nvc so when field current flows it magnetizes nvc when the handle is in the run position then this soft iron piece connected to the handle gets attracted by the magnetic force produced by this nvc now design of nvc is such that it holds this handle in run position against the force of this spring as long as the supply to the motor is proper thus nvc holds the handle in the run position and hence also called hold on coil now whenever there is a supply failure or if field circuit is broken the current through nvc it gets break or it gets affected so it loses its magnetism and hence not in a position to keep this soft iron piece on the handle attracted so under the spring force handle comes back to the off position switching of the motor so due to the combination of nvc and the spring the starter handle always come back to off position whenever there is a supply problem the entire starting resistance comes back in series with the armature when attempt is made to start the motor every time this prevents the damage of the motor caused due to accidental starting nvc performs the similar action under low voltage conditions and protects the motor from such dangerous supply conditions as well so this is the field failure protection so whenever field circuit breaks then the because the uh, speed is inversely uh, proportional to uh, flux now if this field breaks that means flux will become zero so as flux will become zero speed will become infinite so in order to protect that we have use this nvc coil so which will move this particular handle to off position so this is the uh, you can say field failure protection uh, so nvc coil is used for that purpose now overload release if the current through the motor is uh, the current through the motor is taken through this olr that is the electromagnet now under overload condition high current is drawn by the motor from the supply and that passes through this olr now below this magnetic coil there is this uh, lever or and a triangular iron piece over here okay so this is the lever so uh, there is a arm so below this olr there is a arm which is fixed at its fulcrum so one end of this arm is fixed and normally resting in a horizontal position under overloading high current will flow through this olr which produces enough force of attraction to attract this arm upwards normally magnet is so designed that up to a full load value of current the force of attraction produced is just enough to balance the gravitational force of the arm and hence not lifting it up at the end of this arm there is a triangular iron piece fitted now when this arm is pulled upward this triangular piece touches both these ends these two points dotted points they will be shorted with the help of this triangular point uh, triangular uh, piece of metal right now these both these points they are connected to the end of this nvc coil which will short this nvc coil so this nvc coil 
will be shorted through this piece of iron and as this nvc coil is shorted the voltage across this nvc will become equal to zero and due to which this nvc loses its its magnetism so under the spring force this particular handle starter handle it will come back to the off position disconnecting the motor from the supply so thus the motor gets saved from the overload condition so this olr coil will release or keep this uh, handle at off position with the help of this nvc coil whenever there is a overload condition occurs and the this nvc coil itself will take uh, protect this handle or uh, it will move this handle to off position whenever there is a field current failure takes place okay so these are the two main uh, advantages or uh, functions which are usually uh, connected along with the starter now uh, in this starter it can be observed that as the handle is moved from the different studs uh, one by one the part of the starting resistance which gets removed from the armature circuit it gets connected to the it gets added to the field circuit now as the value of this starting resistance is very small as compared to the field winding resistance this hardly affects the field winding performance but this addition of the resistance in the field circuit can be avoided by protecting uh, providing the brass arc as shown in this figure brass arc or copper arc so this brass arc or copper arc is shown so it is just uh, it is connected just below the stud and the end of which is connected to again this nvc here it is shown right now the handle moves over this arc as this handle moves over this arc supplying the field current directly bypassing the starting resistance when such an arc is provided the connection used earlier to the supply field winding is removed okay and the major drawback or disadvantage of this uh, three point starter is that in this starter the nvc and the field winding are in series so while controlling the speed of the motor above rated value the field current is reduced by adding an extra resistance in series with the field winding and due to this the current through nvc also reduces and due to this the magnetism produced by the nvc also reduces this may release the handle from its run position switching off the motor to avoid the dependency of nvc and the field winding four point starter is used in which nvc and the field winding are connected in parallel so that is the four point starter so the basic difference this is the uh, diagram for uh, four point starter so you similarly you have to write the uh, construction which i'll not uh, explain again in detail so in the same manner which i have explained in three point starter you can explain as there are four points l f a and along with this three points n is the added point in this four point starter so this is the fourth point okay and you can explain what is the function of olr what is the function of this nvc coil how these resistances come and added to in the armature how they are uh, released uh, then what is the use of this uh, copper uh, uh, wire then what is the use of this soft uh, iron piece then starter handle how what is the use of this spring 
how it is uh, useful to bring this uh, starter handle back to the off position what are the studs uh, of 1 2 3 4 5 and run and all this um, entire structure um, construction you can explain and uh, along with this construction you can explain the operation even uh, so it is uh, same you can explain the only uh, difference uh, between these two the basic difference between three point and four point starter is the connection of nvc in three point starter nvc is in series with the field winding so this nvc it is directly connected in series with the field winding uh, in case of three point starter while in four point starter nvc is independently connected to the supply through this uh, coil and this particular uh, point supply uh, across the, um, this uh, NVC is connected independently across the supply through the fourth terminal, it is called as N in addition to L, F and A. So this is the additional terminal N. Hence, any change in the field current does not affect the performance of the NVC. Thus, it is ensured that NVC always produces a force which is enough to hold the handle in run position against the force of the spring under all the operating conditions. Such a current is adjusted through NVC with the help of fixed resistance R, which is connected in series with the NVC using fourth terminal or fourth point N as shown in this particular figure. Then the major uh, drawback or disadvantage of this four point starter is the only limitation of this starter is it does not provide high speed protection to the motor. If under running condition, field gets opened, the field current reduces to zero, but there is some residual flux present and as N is inversely proportional to phi, the motor tries to run with dangerously high speed. This is called high speeding action of the motor. In three point starter, as NVC is in series with the field, under such field failure, NVC releases the handle to the off position. But in four point starter, NVC is connected directly across the supply and its current is maintained irrespective of the current through the field winding. Hence, it always maintains handle in run position as long as supply is there. And thus, it does not protect the motor from field failure conditions which result into the high speeding of the motor. This is the major drawback of four-point starter and which is the major advantage of the three-point starter. So I hope you have understood uh, this uh, operation of this uh, starter. What is the necessity of starter and what are the different starters? Okay.